let's open our Xcode and we're going to create new application. So if you don't see this window, you just go to File, New, Project, and then it will show you this view here. Then we select our single view app application, click Next. I'm going to name this, I'm going to call this Market. Uh, you can call yours uh, whatever you want. Um, make sure you have your team selected if you have one. And we're not going to use any of the ticks here and make sure the language is Swift. So click Next. Then uh, the Xcode will ask you where to save the project. I'm going to save mine on my desktop. I can save yours uh, wherever is easier for you to find it. Once we save this, Xcode will take us to the ready project here. And we have some ready-made files here and our main storyboard. So what we are going to do is close our project. Then I'm going to open my terminal because we are going to do some setup before we can start our coding. So once you open your terminal, you can search for it uh, or you can just go to applications, utilities, and the terminal is here. So once you are in terminal, we are going to navigate to our project folder, which is created. So in my case, it's market and it's on my desktop. So in order to navigate to this folder, there are two ways. First, you make CD, which is change directory, and then you are going to type all the path to the folder, or there is an easy way, you just drag and drop it here, and it shows you the path, and you just hit enter. And now we are in this folder. I'm going to open it for you to see. And now if I say list, it will show me what I have in my folder. So I have a market and a market Xcode project. So this is folder and then one more file. What we're going to do is to create a pod file so we can install our third party libraries. So I'm going to say uh, pod init. And this adds a pod file to our project. Uh, if you call the function pod init and nothing happens, most probably you don't have uh, CocoaPods installed. So in order to get CocoaPods, you can go to your uh, browser, go to cocoapods.org and here it will tell you how to install CocoaPods. Basically, you copy this line here, go to your terminal, paste it and hit return and it will ask you for the password and you just put your administrator password and this will install CocoaPods for you. Right now I already have my CocoaPods installed so I'm not going to do this. Instead I'm going to close this. So um, we're going to move on and in, put in our pod file what we want to install in our application. So um, we can uh, double click on this pod file here and this will open the file in your text uh, editing application. So we have our target, which is my application name, whatever I named it. And then we have this line use frameworks. And underneath, we are going to put all the pods that we want to install in our application. There are quite a few of them. I'm going to copy and paste this. Also, I'm going to provide the code uh, these uh, pods that you can copy and paste so in order not to make any typos because if you have any typos it will not install the pods correctly and also pay attention to these single brackets here uh, sometimes when uh, you put them different brackets like under some angle they will not work you need the vertical single brackets uh, separating the starting and closing the pod name once you've done uh, copy and paste this, make sure you paste it under use frameworks and before pod end mark here. Command S to save the file. Just close it. And I'm going to close my terminal as well. Uh, I'm going to terminate it. And let's create a new session because I tried to install their uh, Cocoa Pods. So I'm going to again navigate to my folder here. So I'm going to say CD drag and drop it here 
hit enter. Now if I call ls, you will see that we already have a pod file here. So in order to install our Cocoa Pods to our project, I'm going to say pod install. Hit enter. And this will take some time to start installing all the pods that you have mentioned in your pod file. And once it's done, it will create another file for us. So I'm going to Okay, it looks like it's going very fast. So depending on your internet speed, it takes some time to finish. So as you can see, uh, once it's done, it shows that we have finished installing the pods. Here you can see all the pods and the version of the pods were installed next to the name. And then it tells us that from now on, we should use our uh, project in order to start. Before we had only this blue icon, now we have this market Xcode workspace. Uh, this is what we are going to use from now on in order to open our application. So let's double click on it. And this opens my Xcode. And now you can see I have two directors here, my initial project folder, and then I have pod directories where under the pods, you can see all the pods we just installed. This is not going to be needed for now. We are going to close it. And if you check, everything else uh, remained as we had before. So I'm advising you to just say Command B in order to build our project, just to make sure that everything is okay after our installing the pods. There will be some uh, warnings here. This is nothing to be scared of. Uh, we are not going to bother any with any of this unless it's red error. Uh, the yellow warnings are fine for our project. Uh, give it some time. It will take a bit to build our project. And then we're going to start from our next lecture uh, coding our application.